likes angel cakes and he has no problem in making this one this time and we all love a nice snack so we're going to tell you what we need so come on in and let's look at what we need to bake okay so we have here 230 grams of self-raising flour we have one teaspoon of baking powder 145 grams of caster sugar, 145 grams of softened butter at room temperature, three eggs and two tablespoons of milk. Did I say the quarter of a teaspoon of um, vanilla extracts? Half a teaspoon rather? So I didn't know yet, that, that's two. And you also need yellow and pink food colouring. So we're using sugar flare, melon here, and also we're using claret for the pink so let's see what we also need for the icing sugar the icing to make to make the icing what we need is 110 grams of icing sugar 55 grams of butter at room temperature and probably a splash of milk just to make it smooth but not that much all right so let's get baking <laughs> Okay, so we've got the butter and the sugar. We're going to cream those together just as we would a normal cake. It is a slightly different recipe than my normal sponge. It's slightly heavier flour, which gives it a different texture, and that's the difference between this and a normal sponge cake. If you really want to be quick and lazy, you'll just use a normal regular sponge cake recipe, but it does taste like the shop end cake when you do it this way. So let's dump the sugar and the butter in, guys. Quick, quick, quick. Dump. Careful. Okay, maybe help it out. There you go. No, that's for the icing. Okay, so give it a good stir. Okay, get it good, good wax. You need to cream it together. Okay then. <laughs> Watch it come together. There's a competition here. Look at it. Look at it. Yes. 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 It's nice and creamy because it was really um, soft to start with. It's definitely um, much easier to kind of cream together. Now the tins that we're using, you do need three um, tins. Lovely. I'm going to add the eggs now. <laughs> These eggs, Joshua, I want you to carefully put them in, stir it in carefully, hold the bowl tight. That's it. Don't splash it. That's it. The tins that we used are quite large, um, and I noticed the last time I did it that we did have um, a really thin layer of angel cake, but it was fine. But you might want to make sure that you and um, test it out and make sure that you have enough of a depth in your tin when you use a mixture you might want to double up the mixture is what i'm saying okay keep going that's it get it all in there whisked in there I'm just going to get the sieve because we're going to need to sieve doesn't like the look of it but it's going to taste nice yeah. like i'm going to sieve the flour in once that's all nicely blended you're just going to take it from the sides just really give it a quick blend get all the curdles out okay that is now ready for the flour so can you sieve that in sieve what flour 
Where's the flower? There. Here. Yeah. Not all of it at a time, quick. Put some in. That's it. Just sieve it in. Just sieve. Lovely. Okay, and then add the baking powder. Yep. Lovely. And now we are going to fold that in. I don't know. Yeah, you do. Yeah, folding means you do a figure of eight. So you're in and then that way and then that way and then that way. Okay. No, try and get all around the outside. Oh, it's, it's eight. You have to eight. 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 Try and get outside as well. That's it. Oh, it's not to eight. Well done. It's zero. <laughs> he's not, he's doing the eight, leave him. Hold the bowl. Didn't why you lot try and do that? Because the bowls just will fly off the table. Hold the bowl always. Okay, mine going to eight. Why is this apron? Can you fix your apron, young man? My goodness, what is that? Can I stir it now? Look at it. No. That's it, and then we get it down to the size. And this is why for this recipe, whereas in normal, my normal sponge, we don't use milk, but because it's thicker, we will then use the milk and the vanilla extract. So can you add those two boys, please? That's the milk. Thick. That's it, that's the vanilla extract. Just with some light touching milk. Can I stir it then? Yep. Careful, it's liquid, so you need to be careful. Come on, from the side. Shall you see? Awesome! Wonderful. Don't beat it too much because you'll make the air come out of it. Remember, it's the only. Once it you've got. Air. Yeah. It makes bubbles. No. If it's like got no air in it. So basically now, once you've got your mix, your cake batter should look like that. You're going to divide it into three even sections. So we're going to reuse these bowls that we had so we can get, because they're all the same size. And I'm just going to proportion those out. So I'm just going to do a big dollop from that one, big dollop from that one, a big dollop from that one. And I think we'll still get another half a dollop from each one half a dollar and then half a dollar from each one okay so you might want to weigh it out if you really want to get technical um but i think we had one and a half dollars <laughs> let's be really technical um in each bowl now we will be coloring two of the three you must use gel coloring if you want to get the right consistency um of your batter. If you use water colouring, one, it will take loads to make it the right colour, and two, um, you'll ruin the te texture of your sponge. So gel colouring, you don't need to use that much. You should ideally use a cocktail stick, but because the boys are helping me, I'm going to use these dowels. <laughs> so you don't need much. This amount mm -hmm. is how much I'm going to use for the yellow. So AJ, you stir the yellow in, and yes. then yeah, and then for the pink, oh, it looks yellow. Oh, it's this is meant to be pink, it's the claret, and so Joshua, you're gonna stir that in that one, and the other one will stay oh, plain. No, it's... it looks better. I mean, it doesn't look better. Okay. But it's like more careful. It's more Okay, so the colours are changing. Yeah. See, but I, I can eat the bottom. There we go, keep going. Careful not to get your hands in it. 
And if you see the big bits of colour, sometimes with the gel colouring, you'll find that it doesn't quite break down. So what I try and do is do those against the sides. If you see a bit of colouring, just do it against the sides so that you can really um, break it down and then mix in the rest of the batter. Okay. Can you see any big bits in yours? Yeah. Let's see. There's always big bits of the pink. Yeah. Can't see any. Okay, keep stirring that around. Oh, there's one. Just stirring the sides. Yeah, and that one. Stir that around the sides. Make sure that it's all gone. So you can see that concentrated bit of colour there. So I'm just stirring that on the side to make sure it's all gone. And then I'll mix it in. That's just to make sure you don't get any pockets of concentration. So just stir that all in. And now I will get the cake tins which have already been pre-lined. Amazing. You guys did great at this. Can you go wash your hands as well? Awesome. So we have pink batter, we have yellow batter, and your aim is to make sure that it's fully pink and fully yellow with no strong bits that are not mixed in okay so you can order those colors online and what i'm going to do to make sure that it's fully mixed in is i'm just going to take the spatula I can see some bits were not caught, so I'm just going to fully incorporate those because you don't want any white bits. Um, okay, so that's done. And we will do the same for the yellow. So we'll be back in a moment. The um, batter now, all mixed. So we're just going to pop it in for speed and also because the, the paper is not holding properly around the sides. This brand that I use is not great. So I don't want the boys to waste the tiny little bit of batter that we have. So we're just going to put all of them into their respective tins and make sure that we spread it out so that there's a, a full layer of batter across the bottom. This just about does it in the size tins that we've got here. Um, it definitely could have done with maybe having a little bit more because I've got a wider tin. I do have some smaller ones, but I don't have three of the smaller ones. You can bake it in three separate bits, but that would be a long time of coming. So we're going to put it on time lapse and get the rest of the batter into the tins. And we'll see you on the other side, ready to bake. <laughs> tins now what we're going to do is quickly tap them boys you take a tin each and just tap it not too high in the air not too high in the air Close. just to make sure that the batter careful you're going to make it knock off that would have been a real disaster okay so that's it so we're now going to bake it in the 
the oven because it's so shallow it will take about 20 minutes so we'll be back in 20 minutes and then we're gonna layer it up but whilst it's baking we will show you how to make Okay, so we're back and we're about to make the buttercream. So we have here the 110 grams of icing sugar, the 55 grams of um, the softened butter. Dependent on how soft your butter is, you might not even need the splash of milk. The splash of milk is literally only to get it to a smooth consistency. So when we mix this, I think this is mega soft, so I don't think we're gonna need the milk. So we're just gonna whisk it together and if it's smooth, we'll leave it as it is, okay? So play by ear. Mm -hmm. Gonna put it on time lapse for you so that you don't have to wait for that. In. so we have our loaves already and I did add a splash of milk to the book and just to make it go a bit further but we are ready to fill and make the <laughs> okay so we have the yellow we have the pink and we have the white we've got these wrappers and um, the greasy paper that's what I love about the grease proof paper you literally just lift it off and the last one and basically you only want to take the top bit off of the yellow and the pink now because of the thinness of this you can see they're not very thick you won't be able to use my tool as normal because it just won't go down far enough so what I'm going to do is really carefully, and I won't ask the boys to do this because it's so sharp, but really carefully, I'm just going to cut a little bit around, all the way around, just to make sure and keep my knife level, that it's level, and then I'm just going to go through. Okay. That is a sharp knife. Whoa, look at the yellow. Yellow, baby. It looks like that curry rice. Yeah, it's a little bit more yellow than I would like. Um, curry rice. It's a bit, a bit too far, looks like. Let me put, um, what's that yellow colouring called? I can't remember now. Yellow. But yeah. <laughs> I'll remember it out and I'll be like, how can you forget? Ah. Anyway, yeah. so do the same on the pink. I wonder how pink this is. Maybe just gonna go all the way around, and this is what I was saying about maybe using a slightly smaller tin would have got thicker layers, but they're not bad, they're just not really, really thick. And I suppose that's good for me having started to get an affinity for baked goods. So, very pink here, very yellow here. But beautifully sponge. I'm not going to take the top off the the top one because that's going to be the lid, the top. So, boys, you're going to rub the buttercream in. So I'm just going to put a dollop on this yeah. side, a dollop yeah. on this side, and boys. You are going to spread it in. Maybe I'll get you both a spatula so you can do it at the same time. It's a dollop. A dollop is like a big drop. Kind of. A big kind of. Yeah. yeah. Just, just like. Actually, say so washing up. Just do one at a time, guys. So, one of you do your bit first. Me. And move this out of the way for you. Wow. He said me first and you just. My it. He, he said me first. My goodness. You keep doing that. Go away. Hold it. Hold the. the um, Careful. 
Right, so when you're doing cake, you want to slide across. Get away from the window, you. Um, you slide it and don't lift it up because you'll take all the cake with you as well. So slide it across. Yeah. Hold the cake so it doesn't move. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Okay. Now, Joshua, AJ, you do your one. Slide it, don't lift it up. Just move it the other way. Don't get it off the top. Make sure you get to the sides. Look, keep it flat, but don't try and scrape it off. Just spread it across and get to the edges. Okay, get to the edges like that. There we go. So we are now ready to stack. So we're just going to lift the pink one top of the yellow one and lift the white one on top of the pink one what i am going to do actually with this white one is i'm going to make sure that it's the same height because it was slightly bigger so i'm just going to even it up to make sure it's the same height as this is a nice chunk of cake for us to to munch on Ooh. Delicious. So we're just going to pour that on top now, and now we have our angel cake ready to be sliced. And you notice I just did a crack there, it won't matter. Okay, so as we're using really sharp knives, I'm not letting the boys do this, but I suppose I'm one of those overprotective mums. <laughs> you just take the sides off. And again, all of these make for wonderful snacks. Wow. Look at that angel cake. <laughs> Looks amazing. Let's do a close up. Awesome. And we're going to do the same on this side. Okay, just taking the sides off. And there was a tad too much food colouring, but you know, no one, no one died, it's fine. Okay, and we're going to do that for all our slices. Okay, so just look at that as we make angel slices. Can we taste it? Yes, let's just slice it all first. Make sure the knife's clean. Slice. There's three slices. So that's it. Yeah, eat it, eat it, eat it now. Okay, so let's. So we hope you enjoyed today's episode. We certainly did. This luscious angel cake was absolutely delicious. And next week we are making an even more exciting treat. We are going to be making cherry bakewell tarts. Oh my gosh, they were absolutely delicious. So please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications. And we'll see you next week, Friday, for Quarantine Cakers. Yeah.